hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for free accounting software desktop users to show you guys how to use the um, payroll uh, in free accounting software desktop. So uh, I've just um, started up and unlocked my profile. I'm at the new business data file page. Um, so I'm just creating a brand new file here. Okay, um, the desktop software runs for a financial year, so um, put in some dates. Just uh, save it as something. Okay, it's prompting to enter a bit more detail on the um, business. So, um, going to enter a telephone number because this prints on the um, payslip and an email address actually also into a postal address because it prints on the payslip okay um, after doing that um, let's have a look at the um, set up so in particular we're interested in the accounts and the tax codes um, that have been set up so just have a quick look at the tax codes um, the first few here are the GST tax codes the um, the ones at the end here are for payroll so there's this um, few things here um, there's two pay as you go with uh, tax codes there's one that's called pay as you go withholding taxable and that's for the gross pay that is subject to pay as you go withholding and um, there is the pay as you go withheld itself tax code which is for the pay as you go so if you pay someone a thousand dollars gross with two hundred tax the thousand dollars goes against this tax code and the two hundred dollars tax goes as PAYG withheld um, there's a couple superannuation tax codes automatically set up there as well just have a quick look at one of them um, basically it's going to go into your, your bass on the salaries and wages box and and goes on an individual non-business um, pay as you go payment summary um, so yeah okay cool now have a look at some of the accounts a lot of accounts set up um, here for payroll um, there's normal time time and a half double time that kind of thing um, you may want to set up some of your own accounts for payroll things that are unique to your business so let's just have a look at normal time set up um, it's an expense um, apply super means that the system will add superannuation on top of things you pay as normal time and uh, leave there is no leave accrual but you know if there was you'd want it set to true the default tax code is pay as you go withholding taxable and that um, just means that um, when you pay someone normal time the system will calculate tax uh, and hold against this tax code uh, payment deduction type is earnings so that just shows where to put it on the pay slip and the normal rate multiplier is one so that means that when we set up an employee we'll give them a normal rate of pay and this will pay one times that normal rate so for something like time and a half it'll be 1.5 or double time two um, that kind of thing in this rate box here let's say um, let's say you were setting up something and it you just wanted it paid at a fixed rate uh, all employees get the same rate um, then you would put the rate in here 
Okay, any ca in any case, um, that's some basic payroll things are set up so we can go and uh, set up an employee now. So all everyone you transact with is, is firstly called a counterparty. So um, to set up an employee, click on this setup and counterparties. Um, a bit of a definition here, counterparty, uh, an opposite party in a contract or financial transaction. So um, anyway, click add new counterparty and I'm um, going to give this uh, um, employee a name this is a made up name but you'd actually use their real name um, and um, an address Alright, save that. Now that's just set the employee up as a generic kind of counterparty, but we need to end at, we need to add some employee details. So um, click on this employee details button. Um, start date is this is the date they started working for you. A normal rate of pay, um, and I'll give them an annual salary. So annual salary is mainly just for information purposes and it prints on the pay slip so uh, it's a, actually a legal requirement to print their um, hourly rate or annual salary on the pay slip so that's why it's there just typing something for the job title um, which again it's a legal requirement to to put this um, Okay, um, roster, rostering and robot calculations. I'm just going to leave it blank because it's not really doing anything yet. We, we haven't set that up in the existing cloud software. There is some calculations um, you can d set up to automatically calculate the pays for people. Um, and that's not in the desktop software yet. Okay, save that. Now, there's two other things you need to set up for the employee, and that's the TFN declaration and their superannuation details so I'll just go into the TFN declaration now they may have already given you a TFN declaration and you might have already lodged that to the ATO so um, but what we've got to do here is just set up some details so that the system knows what tax scale to use um, so just putting in employee's name give them and the date of birth um, okay now um, these are the details which control what tax scale to use so in this case I've selected resident and claim tax free threshold which is this kind of usual um, thing I'll select no to the um, help and um, stuff like that okay pay declaration just putting I'm just going to leave that blank because this is not going to get lodged um, and if you were lodging this uh, you would fill in your declaration and click lodge I've got some tax agent details here because I am a tax agent so um, you won't see that when you do this unless you are a tax agent and I'm just going to save if you were um, going to lodge you could you know select your Oz key type in the password and hit lodge and that would lodge your TFN declaration Okay, back to the um, employee setup. Uh, we have to set up um, some superannuation details so we can put the member number, 
and select the super fund. Now there are no super funds set up yet, so let's go and set one up. So again, the super fund is a counterparty, it's someone you're going to transact with, so um, click add new counterparty. Um, just call it something as an example. And look, you don't need to actually fill in any details for the super fund um, there. Okay, um, to make this, this is just now s set up as a normal counterparty, which is called a super fund. To make it an actual super fund, you need to click this button. This is a super fund, and on that page, um, each super fund has a, a unique super product identifier. So you can go and work out what that is. I'm just going to put something in there. Okay. Um, yeah, having done that, we can go back to the employee setup and employee details and superannuation details. Put some member number and, you know, for some reason the super fund is not displayed there, but if you sort of type something, all these fields auto-complete and it will prompt you with the, the name. Okay. Um, Now, this employee is, is fully set up now, so we can go ahead and pay them. The, um, the way to pay employees is, is you can't just go and enter a pay slip, you have to create a batch. And the reason for that is um, with single touch payroll, um, you pay, um, uh, you, you lodge that batch, so you're not going to lodge individual pay slips to the ATO, you lodge all the pay slips on that date. Um, so anyway, let's set up a batch and an, a new batch and I would generally just uh, give it a description based on the date of payment. So let's say we're paying them on the Tuesday uh, for the um, prior week, so the Monday through to the Sunday, so we include the weekend day there and we um, call it payroll for week ended 10 September batch status you can leave it blank or change it to created and then save the batch now click this button to go to the batch transactions there's currently no transactions so um, click add pay slip um, it'll already have the date and the pay period from and to which is from that batch um, select your employee um, basically with these things you just you know work through filling in the form uh, you might want to write a bit of a message here a motivational message I guess for your employees that I don't know um, now that populates the information on the left with, uh, in this case, uh, saying tax scale 2, which is a normal one. Uh, it's worked out it's a weekly pay because the pay period is for a week. And it's brought in the, um, the, the other information there. Um, I used to have these fields, or originally I had these fields not grayed out so that you could, you could tweak them, but it created a bit of confusion because... Um, Every time you come back to the screen, it will bring in the f details from that employee setup, um, which which it, it doesn't do once the batch is authorised, but it still created confusion. Um, so, you know, you, you can't just go and tweak uh, the job title or, or stuff like that. You can change the, the pay period, but um, if you need to change these things, you need to go back to the employee setup and actually fix them over there. Okay, so um, the, the, the thing to do is just to, um, um, in this case, normal time, select the type of payment, and then just go um, put in the, the quantity. So we've got 38 hours times the normal rate of pay, and the system's calculated the gross, the pay as you go to withhold, and the um, superannuation, okay? 
Um, there's a lot of other fields here, uh, and these are the pay event info is single touch payroll, and these are the information that will be sent to the ATO um, when uh, when you when you've um, finished for single touch payroll purposes. Um, so yeah, single touch payroll came in for employee employers with 20 or more employees from 1 July. Um, uh, for employers under that amount, uh, it's coming in from 1 July 2019. So you might decide, hey, look, I don't really need to lodge this, so I can't be bothered. Um, but uh, yeah, at some stage we need to do that. Okay, uh, another thing to point out here is this tax code. So I think you'll remember from the setup of the normal time that we had this default tax code which is pay as you go withholding taxable. Um, you can change it but you really shouldn't. Um, so you know if it's not, if you change it to something else then it's not a taxable thing so it's not going to withhold the tax but you know it's going to create problems. Um, so just leave that. Um, Okay, so the next thing you might want to do is click add line to add a second line. So I've just scrolled um, up and down a bit here, but because I've just um, got the screen shrunk down a bit so that we can um, you know, fit it in the video and still read the text. Um, but anyway, it, let's say this person um, um, works some overtime. So we could select time and a half and pay them two hours of time and a half um, so there, there you go um, and in fact just just add another line here and and let's say um, give them some double time one hour okay uh, another thing you probably want to do is um, maybe delete one of these lines occasionally you might add something that you didn't really want so you just uh, tick the box next to the line and then um, click this delete selected lines thing uh, and that that deletes the line alright having um, let's say we've uh, finished this uh, pay slip um, just click save and once you've done that you can click this uh, pay slip PDF um, now I'll just bring this over here um, so basically, you know, um, it's got all the information you need on the pay slip, and um, you, you would uh, give a copy of this pay slip to your employee, which is a legal requirement to give them a copy within 24 hours or something. So um, when you make the payment, you email that off to them as well. Okay, so. Um, it's basically in. Uh, if you go back to the batch uh, with these tables, you just double click on the thing to get into it. Um, you know, you might like to go to the batch transactions and then add more pay slips. Um, when you when you're done, you could, you could click go to STP Lodge, which is Single Touch Parallel Lodge. Click that. Um, essentially, it's already generating all of the information you need. Um, to lodge and you would just go down the bottom uh, select your uh, OS key and type your password and click lodge STP batch so um, you know you don't need to if you're under 20 employees lodge single touch payroll until 1 July next year but you might want to um, actually do that if you um, I guess the only advantage is that you don't have to issue pay-as-you-go payment summaries if you if you lodge using STP. Um, cool, well um, that's that's pretty much it for payroll in free accounting software uh, desktop version so thanks for watching.